Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on an add on domain. Begin by logging into your cPanel. If you don't know how to do that, a pop up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into cPanel. Okay, now that I'm logged into cPanel, notice my primary domain over here is example.com. So I'm going to scroll down and show you my add-on domains here under add-on domain. If you don't know how to add on a domain, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to add on a domain in cPanel. But notice I have an add-on domain that is example2.com. And I just want to show you that it's an add-on domain. I'm going to go back to the home page. Now that you see that example2.com is an add-on domain, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on that add-on domain. So let's scroll down to the Softaculous button here in the Software and Services section. Click the Softaculous button. It's going to bring you to the Softaculous installer. And if you see WordPress, you can click the WordPress link here. You can also go to Blogs and click WordPress there. This is going to bring you to the Overview page. Go ahead and click the Install tab button. And then it's going to bring up the Setup page. Go ahead and choose your settings as needed. The main thing is this Choose Domain option, though. Click that. Choose your add-on domain. If you don't see your domain listed here, it probably has not been added onto your cPanel yet. If you want to add a directory, you can. For example, if you put a WordPress directory here, you would access your WordPress site on example2.com slash WordPress. If you want to install it on example2.com directly, leave this box blank. You can enter a database name if you wish to. You can also add a table prefix to your database if you want to here. Enter a site name and a site description and choose if you want multi-site. You can also change your site name and description or install multi-site after you've installed WordPress from the dashboard. In the admin account section, enter your admin username and your password. I recommend using a really strong password. You can enter one or use the generator here. I'm just going to generate one with the generator key. Now that you filled in your password, you can put an admin email address. This is the address that any notifications from WordPress would be sent to. For example, if there's an update available, it would be sent to this address. In the Choose Language section, there's a drop down. If you want to change your language from English to another language, you can. It will default to English though. On the bottom, there's an option to install the Limit Login Attempts plugin. If you select this checkbox, it will install that plugin for you, which can help reduce brute force attempts into your website. Down here, there's an Advanced Options section. If you click the plus, it will drop down and show you. Here, you can choose if you want to disable update notifications or auto upgrade. You can enable. You can also enable auto upgrade for plugins and themes. If you don't enable auto upgrade, I recommend just upgrading regularly or whenever you see critical updates being released. Once you've filled in everything that's needed, you can also put an email address here on the bottom. That will actually send you an email summary once the installation completes. So at this point, let's go ahead and click the install button to proceed with the installation. It's going to take a little bit of time to complete as you see here on the top. Upon completion, you'll see this congratulations message. Notice below there's a, a link to your site. It tells you WordPress has been successfully installed there. And there's also a link to your administrative URL. And this is where you would log into your dashboard. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open in a new tab. Let's go to our site. Notice it's a clean installation of WordPress on our add-on domain. I'm going to go back now, and I'm just going to click on the admin URL here so I can show you this is the login page for WordPress. So now you know how to look. So now you know how to install WordPress on your add-on domain. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video or comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.